that person is a living witch wizard he or she needs to be delivered if he or she is willing if the person is willing to be delivered then the person should be taken to a church that is powerful a church that knows how to pray a pastor that is powerful a pastor that knows the word of god a pastor that knows what he's doing the person should be taken to a church and be delivered instantly hi everyone welcome again to my youtube channel shine don't just be fine if you are seeing me for the first time my name is joanne mo uluba you can call me mo i'm very excited to have you today if you're yet to subscribe to this channel kindly do so just click on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell if you are a returning subscriber thank you again i see the love i see the shares the comments everything i see them all thank you so much in this video we're going to be talking about how to identify witchcraft how to identify witchcraft oppression how to know if there's a witch in your environment or in your family it's very important to know your environment to know what's happening there are people who are really possessed with this witchcraft spirit they show the signs and also perform their witchcraft activities the difference between one who is possessed with witchcraft and the one who is a witch or a wizard the difference between these two is that the one that is possessed may not really know that he or she is possessed with the spirit of witchcraft what he or she does is show the signs and symptoms like show the signs and symptoms of witchcraft but the one that is the witch or the wizard they perform witchcraft activities they go for the meeting they do all sort of witchcraft they know who they are she knows she's a witch he knows he's a wizard they are in it already so how do you identify them how do you identify a witchcraft atmosphere if there is a witch around you or a wizard around you how do you know we are not just going to stop at knowing or identifying a witch or a wizard we are also going to talk about how to stop them so one of the ways to identify a witch or a wizard is first of all let's begin with the atmosphere one of the ways to identify that there is a witchcraft atmosphere around you is number one smell when you perceive a kind of bad smell the smell is not direct is not you don't you, you, you don't know what exactly is smelling you just perceive smell. it doesn't smell like bad food it doesn't have a direction of what it smells like something just smells you don't know that something is smelling and the smell is odd is weird is strange then my dear just have to start speaking in tongues when i say speaking in tongues i mean speaking in the holy spirit holy ghost when you perceive something like that that is a witchcraft atmosphere so if you are in an environment probably maybe you went to visit someone or you just where you are and you perceive a strange smell this smell is not direct this smell you don't just know where the smell is coming from it does not smell like something you know it does not smell like bad food it does not smell like you know like gutter or it does not smell like something you can trace like something you have perceived before it smells strange you know that is like kind of strange kind of a strange smell then that is a witchcraft atmosphere the right thing to do at that time is to start speaking in tongues another way you can identify witchcraft from a person have you ever seen someone who knows how to join heads together he or she goes behind you says something terrible you know and goes behind the other person says something terrible and comes to tell you and tell the other person and tells the other person and does this does that join heads together that person is possessed with witchcraft someone who knows how to join heads together you know create confusion say this say this join heads together just enjoy seeing that kind of a thing that person is possessed with witchcraft and that person needs to be delivered if he or she is willing to be delivered that is another way you can identify someone who is possessed with witchcraft another way you can identify a witch wizard or someone who is possessed with witchcraft is a person who does not like good things, a person who is always happy with bad news. This person does not like to hear good news, does not like to hear, oh, this good news happened. Oh, sister D just got this. Sister B just got this. Sister A has finally gotten this. The person is just always sad about good news. That person needs deliverance. That person is possessed 
with witchcraft someone that is just excited about bad news wants to hear bad news wants to hear bad things just wants to know that something bad is going to happen to a person feels comfortable when you feel comfortable about bad news then that is a sign of witchcraft you need to be delivered you have to book an appointment and be delivered instantly when i talk about this i mean someone that does not like good news i'm not talking about a person with high expectation example you know you hear that sister p got this and you just feel like oh god when will it be my turn when will it be me because you have been expecting you have been praying or desiring that thing i'm not talking about that i'm talking about someone that hates good news i'm not talking about having high expectation and you know hoping like god so many people are having their blessings how about me i'm not talking about that that is high expectation it's it's just your human nature to you know feel down and feel you're happy for the person but you're just thinking god when will it be my turn that is you're being human i'm talking about someone that hates good news someone that does not like to hear good things that person is a witch he or she is not possessed with witchcraft that person is the witchcraft itself that person is a living witch wizard he or she needs to be delivered if he or she is willing if the person is willing to be delivered then the person should be taken to a church that is powerful a church that knows how to pray a pastor that is powerful a pastor that knows the word of god a pastor that knows what he's doing the person should be taken to a church and be delivered instantly so i have more examples to give out i have more examples to talk about but i'm just gonna leave it for another video if you are yet to subscribe kindly click on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell and you know what to do you know like this video stay blessed